Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's section is uh, how to make a cable tray riser in Revit. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Uh, if you need some training related to electrical and MEP in Revit and AutoCAD, so you can contact me on WhatsApp, okay? So I'll show you how to do this one. So this is a one sim small electrical room. I placed one a panel over here. Uh, from the system we can get the electrical equipment. So I did one video before like uh, how we can give this uh, um, uh, Panel creations and everything so here I, this is a shaft Okay, so it will reach I will one one section I can make if you need to make a section go here otherwise go to views um, the, Here is a section mark so you can you can make like this okay so you can simply make a section over here okay right click and go to view so it will it will uh, show the um, section view so this is our panel so if from the panel we can draw cable tray like this and go up to here okay so what we'll do we'll go to the system tab first okay then uh, one cable tray took okay uh, before that i will just type wt okay so wt means so you can make a, a tile windows uh, two three okay so i will start from here one cable tray okay uh, the cable tray size i can give here whatever you need okay you can give here the cable tray size and we, the channel cable tray we are using and service shape i can just type like that uh, uh, power power okay cable tray one okay so this is already i made it in the filter tab so you can you can also make that one and just this cable tray is i choose the size is 600 so it is started from here okay so i'll just make it fine for a better view and make it like this so the cable tray it's going like this okay and then then it will go up to here the levels it will showing here seven six something like that okay so this cable tray we can we can make some levels also so i will 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 we'll go here and it will go like this okay and cable this cable tray i need to run up to here so maybe maybe here some mechanical equipment okay so we can we can run up to here okay so like that we can make the cable tray okay and uh, uh, in the section it, it is going like this okay so what we'll do it's in the plan we'll check it how it's work okay so plan it will like this and if you go to the 3d if you can go here and uh, check the 3d it is going like this okay so we'll, we'll see here so it is clearly mentioned clearly we can see the cable tray from the uh, from the panel it is going like this and come to the uh, come to the last point or means the upper, upper level so if you go and stretch up to here so you can see the cable tray running through like this okay so similar way we can make another cable tray so this cable tray is going like this and we will we will um, run another cable tray like this one i will choose this uh, size is around 300 and um, uh, I can give this uh, elevation is around 3000. Okay, enter it. And same way we can do, I will start from here and I close up to here. Okay. So this one I can, uh, I'll make this one like uh, I need to fire cable, to fire alarm cable tray. So I will type uh, this service type as a fire. alarm ct okay this same name i given in the uh, uh, in in the uh, in the filter so that is what it is the color is showing so you just move the sections up to here so you can see here the cable tray is running like this so you just uh, uh, right click and uh, click on here the plus button and draw cable tray you can uh, draw up to the panel okay so it means the cable tray running from here and going through the that panel then you can up to here you can touch it up to here and go up to here and which level you need you can just uh, draw the your panel maybe it's here so you can draw like this so easily you can run the cable tray up to here if you go to the 3d view so you can see 
um, but cable tray also going here. So why it's showing like in the 3D, 3D? So here also some service types we need to mention. So this is like a fire alarm or this one is the fire alarm. Okay, so it is coming like this. Okay, so this one I can give the name. Press tab and press it. And this one I service type power. Okay, and this one is fire alarm so i need to give the name service type fire same name i need to give here also that is the otherwise it will not show the uh, color so we given some filter that is what it is coming like this okay fire alarm city so city is the same service what the name you given in the service type so that that should be here okay so it is showing like this so if you if you just stretch this one up to here so you can see the cable tray is running like this so if you need another one also same you can move also you can just press this one and the, the control and press this too and you can move from the keyboard like this down arrow you can adjust the cable tray okay this this is the way we are doing that the cable tray riser so if in the section it, it is also showing here if you need to show some color in the um, section also you can you can mention the filter over here okay so what we'll do we we, we and to go to the filter and add and we already made it power and uh, fire alarm so you just click that one and go here the pattern and give the color which one you need solid fill and you need this color means you can give that one and the solid fill and the color is this one okay and click okay the same way we are doing for all the other systems and the color we can give um, which one you like okay so the blue you can give and this one also blue and okay so if, if you can if you can see here the in the section you can clearly see this uh, the cable train running through over here so like that and you can make another cable tray also like um, what we'll do we will uh, make one low current cable trunking or like that something like that okay so we'll we'll first we need to give the service type here service type we can say as a low current okay yeah low current the same way we are we are placing this uh, um, all other systems okay so it is easy to draw all the systems like this so if you draw like this okay well maybe this height is different that is what is showing so you just escape okay so we need to go the cable tray and uh, the height will give 3000 okay so same we can take it from here yeah same if you want to change the uh, size of the cable tray you can change it i am keeping the same one and you will go starting from here and come up to here okay exactly what what is the level over here okay then then move this one the section just move to near to the cable tray edge of the cable tray so you can see this in the section only that cable tray okay so the cable tray you can see here so if you want to add this one also there you can add it um in the filter okay so add this one low low current okay low current already created and uh, you can choose the color here like uh, whatever you whatever you like okay so you can you can choose the color i made it one video for this one before uh, for this uh, filtering and everything so it will it will show here so you just click on the cable tray and the plus mark you just right click and draw cable tray down so it will come to the panel and just escape and start out from here and you just draw one cable tray so wherever you need like this floor floor you need okay so you can you can continue with the, on this one or, or even any anywhere you can you can go and um, draw so hopefully you guys are enjoyed my video um if you have some comments on of, of this you just uh, comment on youtube Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me to grow up. This is related to AutoCAD and Rivet. Thank you. Thank you for watching.